Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sun. Welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! I was getting stupid in that last video. I couldn't remember my way through the Lost Woods. And then as I was watching the video, watching myself go the wrong way, suddenly it came to me. Now it's clear as crystal. There are other things to do here, but I'm not going to delve too deeply into that. There's a shortcut there to Lake Hylia, or Hylia as I would normally say. Anyway, so what you do is you go straight here, then you go left, and then you go right. And that's all there is to- I was standing right there in the doorway and I was like, No, I can't go that way because there's a blur back there! But no, you do go that way. And we come to the Sacred Forest Meadow, and we get to fight monsters! Wait, wait, wait. Get your button straight. <laughs> Thought I was playing Mega Man 9 for a second there, how can you get confused about that? Oh yeah, couch at a bad time there, didn't I, didn't I, Wolfie? Star Wolf. Dude, you can't stay locked onto those, can you? Okay, why am I having such a hard time with this guy? What a lame ass. Jeez. Alright. So in the gate we go, and you get a little overhead view here. Um, it's kind of a little maze we got here. Nothing too amazing. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I just made it funny. I made it funny! Ha 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 ha! We got Deku's running around here spitting nuts. So he might take a few hit. Well, uh, I don't want to be taking that many hits. See, I'm not here to take damage, I'm just here to progress. Get in the water here, and we can go this way. Oh, hello, another Deku. How lovely. There's five rupees. Because I didn't really need those. Then you come up here. This place is actually a lot scarier as an adult. Or, uh, later in the game it's scarier. <sighs> well, gee, I just spoiled it. Don't turn around and correct yourself now. Of course, just about everybody knows that's what happens in this game, right? So, yeah. It's <laughs> an interesting area we got here. Big platform with a Triforce on it. And there's our friend Saria, doing God knows what way the hell out here. Bopping back and forth like Slippy. She's also green. There could be a connection there. Maybe a theory. Hello. Oh, you've been waiting for me. Well, I've been waiting for you. This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. And she's right. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yeah, sure. Okay, try to follow along the melody I will play. Are you ready? I don't even know who I'm offending there, but okay. There it is. Sorry, a song. This looks really big on my screen for some reason. Oh, uh, anyway. So it's down right left, huh? Basically. Beautiful. Bum 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 ba da bum 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 bum. I'll take a crap. All right. Yes. Great. Great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? Yeah, I promise. When you want to hear my voice, play Saria song. You can talk with me anytime. And so we learn another song. What is that for? I don't think we've actually used any of them for anything yet. But we will soon enough. Just hold your horses. No pun intended. Saria song. Okay, see you later, Saria. I'm out of here. Actually, up here, um, that's the important place she's talking about. Or, well, that we'll see that later. It's, uh, pretty tough. And anyway, we should save talking about that until we actually get there. And we need to stop getting hit, too, because that's really getting on my nerves. I want to start hearing the warning. The warning is actually not very annoying in this game. It's not very... you can hardly hear it in Link's Awakening. But, yes. So... Getting back out of here is a lot easier. Just jump across the top and there we go. And then to get out of the Lost Woods, you just simply... Oh, wait, oh, what? Hoo-hoo. Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other melodies that you might be able to find out in the world. If you hold the ocarina, we'll see where a melody is necessary. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to hear what you said again. Melodies you've learned, like the one coming from my butt when I fart, can be recorded on the Quest Status subscreen. Alright, get out of here. Fly away, little bird. Fly away, Lenny Kravitz. We'll just go straight. La, la, la. I need to come back here at night. There's like a ton of... Um things, you know, the skull skull as you can get here at night. You can jump over here on the roof. 
Hey, we got a nice view here. Alrighty then. So let's get the heck out of here. Now we have to go back to Kakariko Village. Yes, we do. It's just one long, big fetch quest, sort of. So let's get out into the field, and this is really... Traveling is tedious in this game, but at least you got a beautiful world to look at. Unless, of course, you decide to... There's, like, my, my sister's husband, like, he used to be her boyfriend back when he did this, but what he would do is, like, face to the side and then do this right here instead of rolling. I don't know if it's faster than rolling, but, but it looks really funny. Because it's like, what the hell are you doing? You know, if somebody just walked in and saw this on my TV screen, they'd be like, what the hell are you doing? And plus, when you're going downhill, it takes longer to jump. When you're going up, you can just, like, you know, hammer the button. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> just landed in the water, man. Jeez. Can I get out of here? No, I can't. Oh, I'm going the wrong ass way. Well, I guess that theory of mine is gonna... We're gonna find out if it's true or not. If you can actually get back up on the land here. Oh, I'm swimming against the current. It didn't look like there was anywhere that I could get out up there, though. Oh, oh it's so hard to swim against that. Okay, back up on the land again. I don't know. Excuse me. Anyway, we'll get up here and this. Something tells me this is gonna be like a really long LP of me doing all stupid shit all through it. But that's fine. If that's what it turns out to be, that's what it is. It's the stupid run. After all, I never claimed to be a uh, expert at this. Yeah, there's at least two skulls I missed here at night. What if you can do it in the village too? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can. I will never get over how silly that looks. It's just redonkulous, man. There's two of them like right here on top of each other. One of them is up the ladder here. Oops. Right, way the hell up wake up way the heck up there. Test your aiming abilities there. Then we got to climb, climb, climb the ladder up to 734 already. I don't believe this is happening, but I'm gonna get this gold schedule line. I can see the moon from here. Do 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 do. I got a token proving I destroyed it. Yay. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Well, thank goodness there's like a fairy around here somewhere, isn't there? I don't know. There's another one. Yay. There's always more hearts, right? Yay, I got a gold token, proving I destroyed it. There's a guy sitting on the roof way back there. Uh, maybe I'll go check for that gravekeeper again. Someone told me that, like, there's only certain times of night he'll come out, and I do remember something about that now. I do have a vague recollection of time having something to do with it, like the exact time. So let's go see. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, it looked like I was walking into a dead end there. I was like, eh, I got myself turned around and going totally the wrong direction. Which would be easy to do when you're playing like that. No, he's still not here. Okay, I must have to be... Must have to be, like, later at night or something. Like, after midnight. You know, after midnight, we're gonna let it all hang out. Okay, let's get back over there again. <laughs> you can end up in some weird predicaments. You know what? There's another one here. It's right up here. Oops. Sorry about that, Link. Try that again. Alright. So what does that give us now? Wait, oh, it's over there. Seven? Is that it? Damn. Oh well. Boing! Oh, you were gonna roll, and then you fell off another cliff. Now we got, I guess we gotta head to Death Mountain now. There's probably a few things that I could do before I went there, but I'm not really concerned with that at the moment, so... Let me check the pots. Any hearts you can give me would be nice. Yay! We're not gonna get much done here, but... You can talk to the guard up here. He won't let you in if you don't have Zelda's letter, but fortunately we have Zelda's letter, because we went to see Zelda and she wrote us a letter. I don't know if you knew that or not, but... 
just in case anybody watching has amnesia. Oh, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Capri Sun. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of a funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Ha ha ha. Oh, he's not gonna ask me for the favor. Usually he does. And it's a long ass bit of dialogue, too. By the way, Mr. Hero. Oh, can I skip this? If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. I have a proper shield, I just don't have it equipped. Yes, and he tells you they sell shields at the market, and uh, if you tell him that he sent you, like after talking to him now, they'll give it to you for 60 rupees rather than 80. Now I'd like to ask a favor of you. And what favor is he going to ask? Find out next time. Bye.